<clears throat> okay, we're streaming. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> I haven't streamed in two weeks. I did make up for one of those weeks with, uh, excuse me, with a Wind Rider stream, stream video. Uh, but last week, uh, I was MIA, and that's, uh, maybe because I'm not really sure why. Didn't go to the doctor to find out, but I'm, like, 90% positive that I got COVID. Good whatever time it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice to have you here, Meg. Um, and nice to have Warzak here. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I was out last week because I probably had COVID. If not COVID, then I had the flu. Either way, I had something nasty that, uh, you may hear I am still recovering from. I have still a little bit of a stuffy nose, so you might have to excuse some sniffling throughout the stream like that. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm healthy. Just, uh, just, uh. Runny nose, that's all. Um, so anyways, glad to see everyone's here. Uh, before we begin, I do have something to talk about. After I have my drink. Um, so, I do believe everyone in the chat uh, is already aware of this. I'm not even saving this for the just chatting section. We're putting this at the top. We're starting it at the top. Actually, at the top, we talked about me being sick. Anyways, at, almost at the top of the stream. We're talking about it. We gotta get some music going. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's copyrighted. Let's not play that. Can we? Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's pretty quiet for you guys. All right. All right. Okay, that's gonna be loud. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get the volume mixing just right. Okay, anyways, so, uh, I am here to announce that, uh, I am now currently accepting, uh, signups for the beta test of Fiddle and the Pauper's Paradox. Um, hello, Wrath. You are not in my Discord, and you don't really check RM Web, so maybe this is news to you. You can sign up now for Fiddle and the Popper's Paradox, my game, the game that I'm making, not the game that I criticize, but the game I'm making. You can sign up for a beta test now. Uh, if I remember, I'm pretty sure I remembered to put a link for it, like the very first link in the description on the video. Um, I also meant to see about just posting the link to it uh, in chat and pinning it to the top. I do believe I can do that. Um, we're just gonna copy that right there. Uh, let me use the YouTube dashboard, not the OBS dashboard, because I think I have more control here. So if I send that, the stupid heart is in the way. I don't want to give myself a heart. I, w I hate the stupid fucking heart. Move the heart! <laughs> and some other words. There, now I <laughs> can click on the stupid thing. There, okay, it's pinned. Alright, there we go, there we go. Now the link is right there, pinned to the chat. Alright, we got it solved, we figured it out. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can sign up for beta test now. To be clear, um, the beta test is not going on yet. Uh, I am still finalizing some stuff with the uh, build of the game that people will get to play. Um, currently, it's it's not yet ready to be played. Uh, I am working my ass off <laughs> every day, which I currently have plenty of free time to do, uh, to try to get it, get the a build of the game that is, like, actually playable. It's not there yet. I have been working like crazy every day on this. Um, so, uh, I am hoping to actually start giving keys out for the game, uh, starting maybe at the beginning of May. Uh, it may be the end of April. I don't know, it just depends on when I get everything implemented and tested and, and ready for people to... Well, test. I have to test to make sure you guys can test it. So, anyways, I'm working on that. It should be the end of April or whatever. Um, it is a Google form. Uh, it's pretty short. 
Uh, it's just like, how do you want me to contact you? What's your contact ID? Are you going to be making a video? And then here's some, some points that I hope that you guys will follow. Um, uh, and I talk about it here. Uh, the reason why all these points are there, like these are the same requirements that you see here. Um, and I talk about why that's there here. You can be like Mr. Orc who just doesn't have time to read all this shit. Totally understandable. Um, end of April is usually May. <laughs> the end of April would be like the last week of April and the beginning of May would be like the first week of uh, May. That's what I'm saying about. There is no specific set timeline yet, but that's, that's the time frame I'm shooting for. Um, anyways, um, so you can read all this if you have any questions. Hopefully I answered it. Uh, it, it is different than the last, uh, beta test I did, or uh, technically alpha, whatever, the, it was a fucking test. I don't know what you'd call it. Alpha, beta, zeta, fucking, who knows? Early access, whatever you want to call it. The test I did before was more like a vertical slice of the game. It just kind of was like, here's some combat, here's some exploration, here's a boss fight, kind of get a sense of the game. And that was it. It was pretty early. Um, here, this is going to be basically all of the finished content. Uh, the whole game is obviously not finished yet, so there's still going to be some missing parts of the game, but it's going to be a nice, meaty, big chunk of the game for you to really experience, um, and it will probably have flaws. It's it's not finished, and that's why I'm doing this beta test, uh, and that's one of the requirements is that I will hope that you will give me feedback so I can figure out you know, what do I need to improve? There are going to be some things I probably can't improve because it would, you know, entail basically completely remaking the entire game. I am aware there are some deep-seated flaws. That's just, you know, can't do anything about that. But hopefully the track that it is on is still an enjoyable experience. And I am hoping to get some feedback to make it more enjoyable. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes between now and then but maybe after <laughs> meaty chunks you bet so anyways you can sign up for the beta test uh the link is now pinned in the chat for all of the live streamers so you just click that link um fill out the form and i'll get your name and uh once the keys are ready to be given out uh they will be given out to you um if you are an archive watcher i i do think chat replay will still have that uh, pin message there. So even if you're watching the archive, if you have chat replay turned on, you can see it. But if not, uh, down in the description, it should be down there. Sign up, damn it. Do it. And then give me feedback. Uh, anyways, uh, I did, did I, I don't think I linked the post that I made on RM web. Um, but, uh, if I remember, I'll add that link down in the description as well. Keys. Uh, keys is maybe not right. Uh, it will be a password protected. It will be a password protected um, itch page. This is how I did it last time. So the key is just going to be the password. So everyone will have the same key. I hope. I I hope that you guys are not just going to start sharing the password uh, out with a bunch of people. I did plan. I I trust most people. I don't think anyone's going to be like trying to pirate the game or get other people in who didn't actually sign up um, to play the game. I don't think that's going to happen. However, there are uh, some things I will attempt to do to combat that just in case. Um, so yeah, when I say keys, it's just really a password for a private uh, itch page. Jingle jingle them keys. That's right. Sharing is caring. Um, so, I agree, um, but, so there, there's, there's a few reasons why I wanted to do it this way. Um, I talked about this last time, is by making it more of, uh, uh, Orc has already signed up, he's already on the list, so he already has it, you don't need to share it with him. Um, D7, um, it might be nice if he signed up. I don't have any contact with him. He is technically subscribed to this channel, and he is technically in my Discord, but I don't think he ever checks my Discord, and he never watches these streams, so... I don't really have any other way that... I guess I could probably just... Anyways, doesn't matter. Um... 
So, uh, I've talked about this before. The reason why I want to do my beta test like this, there's a lot of uh, RPG Maker developers who just, it's like, okay, I have a beta test. I'm going to throw it out there for the public and anyone can play it. Here's why I don't like that. Um, number one, anyone can play it. Um, and that also means anyone can play it and also not provide feedback. Now, technically, that's still possible with what I'm doing. It is still technically possible I could provide a key and someone never gives me any feedback on it. That is not an impossibility. However, by being in direct contact with everyone who is involved with the beta test, I am... People feel accountable, right? They... they I, it's natural for us to want to do what we've been asked to do, right? And we're in contact with each other, so we are more likely to actually give feedback. Um, when I did this last time, uh, basically everyone that I gave access, in fact, not basically, I mean literally everyone that I gave access to, to the closed beta or closed alpha, whatever, um, uh, everyone that I gave it to, everyone replied to me. So there was not any extraneous downloads that someone played it and just was like, yeah, I got nothing to say and then just didn't leave any feedback. Um, so that's really the, the number one reason why I'm doing it as a closed beta. It's just because it holds people more accountable to actually provide feedback. The other thing is, is that when you make it a public beta, it's also sort of kind of like your, your first impression to, to the public. And I'm, don't, I, I want it very, very clear that this is, uh, not the finished game. This is very much... Uh, the, the beta, yeah, I'm fine with it being streamed. Uh, that is in the sheet right here. Uh, will you be, oh, you can't see, sorry. Will you be streaming or recording the game? Uh, no or yes. Um, the reason I do that is just because, um, one of the points here is, uh, do not publish your feedback publicly until after the beta is complete. Um, this one I do address here because I know that seems like a strange point. Like, why, why do I not want people to share their feedback publicly? Um, I talk about that here. Basically, it comes down to, it's just, I want people, when, I, I want to try to treat this like as if people were just picking it up on Steam. They hardly know anything about this game. Maybe they read some blurbs on the store page. Maybe they saw like a sort, short, short, they saw a short clip of it somewhere on YouTube, but as far as being informed about the game, they don't know much about it. And therefore, um, that's kind of what I want this beta test to be like. So if you guys are sharing your feedback publicly, other people who will be taking the beta test may read your feedback before they actually take the beta test, which is going to change the way that they perceive the game, for better or worse. Um, either way, I would rather them go in there with as fresh of eyes as possible. I am not stopping anyone from publishing the feedback publicly at all. My only request is that it's done publicly after uh, the beta test is complete. So, what will likely happen for the people who plan on making videos or streaming is you guys will likely be given the keys last. Um, so, that way, the people who want to watch uh, your channel or whatever, um, they can watch it and hopefully when they are watching it, they have already play tested it if they were someone who signed up for it. So, I know it's weird, it's a little bit unconventional, but there is, uh, there is a method to this madness, there is a reason why that is there. Um, so, and I, I gave a full explanation right here because I realized that it's sort of a strange point which is why I tried to address it as best as I can. Um, so, anyways, yes, I'm cool with streaming it. Um, seeing how people interact with the game itself is very helpful. So, video recording is, is, is good. Um, yeah, so anyways. Uh, that's, that's the beta test. Um... I hope that some of you will sign up. Uh, I already have 10 people that are, uh, did it go up to 11? I think it went up to 11 uh, today or yes, I don't remember. Anyways, I already got a handful of people signed up, pretty happy with that number, but the more the merrier, the more feedback I get, the more I can improve things. So 
uh, definitely uh, sign up. Now, with that being said, I think we've chatted enough about this. I am very excited about it. Uh, let's hope that I make <laughs> I make it in time for for uh, the the planned date for keys to start going out, which to remind you is just a password, not not actually like a fucking Steam key or anything like that. Um, so let's play some games. What did I want to play first? I don't even remember what I wanted to play first. Um, I have two games here. One of them is a demo. One of them I actually put in my own hard-earned cash to purchase the game. Um, I feel like this demo is, might be pretty short or I won't be too into it. Either way, I feel like I, there won't be a long, a long time with this one. So let's, let's play the, the demo first. Um, so this is a Korean game. There should be English available, I do think. Um, that's why I want to play it right there. You just saw the splash screen. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> they said there's English available. <laughs> um, so let me explain, uh, before we dive into this and I, <coughs> excuse me, and I, uh, try my best to, I guess, figure out my way through the fucking Korean. Um, so I have talked a lot about the absolute mad lad that for some reason his name is Creta Park. There it is. Creta Park. The absolute mad lad that is Creta Park who um, actually implemented FMOD, which is a third party like... Um, I don't know, sound, like, third-party sound, uh, sound tool, music tool, um, tons of games use FMOD, um, you can use it for, like, spatialized audio to create, like, natural spaces in games, um, you can also use it to create dynamic music, you can use it to do all sorts of different stuff, um, I have honestly wanted to play around with FMOD. FMOD's uh, licensing policy is similar to Unity, or I guess I should say the old Unity policy. I don't know what Unity's licensing policy is anymore, but it's it's similar in what in that it's um, basically for like the first hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of. Uh, sales it's it's free and then after 150,000 you have to pay a licensing fee to use it so basically it's for small indie games it's free to use and for double a and up it's going to be um it, there's going to be a license fee so anyways credit park um created the f mod plugin for mv um and i have been interested to see its integration credit park has done some video showcases of the FMOD implementation into his own game. Um, and I will go out and say that it's weird. Um, I always find it weird when there's like this very uh, realistic spatial audio um, with, you know, these cartoony graphics. There just always feels like there's a disconnect. It's like hyper realistic here and then it's sweet and cartoony over here. It's just kind of like eh? <laughs> it's just, it's, something's not not matching up right here, um, which is one reason. Besides having besides the learning curve of having to use um, F mod, it's another reason why I haven't uh, implemented it into my own game. Uh, I'm going to assume this is new game. And it's Korean. Uh, I do believe Creta Park is Korean as well. This is not his game. He did, however, promote it on RM Web, um, which is how I discovered it. Um, and he was promoting it by saying that this game has used his FMOD plugin. Korean! Hang on, let's bust out the Google Translate. Uh, 
We're going to translate to Korean. Camera. There we go. Do you understand? Come on. Oh, it's so slow. Your role is important in this matter. I don't have time to procrastinate like this. Move fast and do your job. If you understand, move quickly because I have work to do too. Oh, it went too fast. Team Gisophilia Percent. <laughs> Vince Gilligan. In honor of Vince Gilligan. I don't know who Vince Gilligan is. And society was attacked and left to its own devices. Am I playing? No. Maybe? Oh, no. It's really slow. Investigate the tied up person. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Google, for your help. Can I use WASD? No. Uh, I can't open the menu. I was hoping I I didn't even check this. I was I went straight. I made a beeline straight to the options menu uh, to check if there's language settings, but I didn't even check if there was like a uh, keyboard config. Look at that shadow. It's funny that they still use the three frames of animation. <laughs> oh. I can read that one. That one says dot dot dot. Wow. No, I don't like it. I don't want to die yet. I ask if you tie if your tied hands are okay. Are your tied hands okay? Well, besides being tied up, yes. Yes, they're doing quite fine. I beg your pardon. We're here we're here for the sound, right? Can you guys hear that? It seems like it's pretty quiet. It's super quiet, yeah. So Credit there. I can't open up the options menu, sadly, and my system's maxed out, so I can't do anything to help you guys. Oh, actually, that's not true. Hang on, I can apply a gain. Where's my gain? Here we go. Uh, move so I can see? Yeah. It's, it's really quiet, which is surprising for a fucking RPG Maker game. I need to shut up for a moment so I can watch my fucking VU meters. Almost. I'm worried if I crank this up too much, it's gonna blast your fucking eardrums out. I've cranked this up plus 20 db now hopefully that should be okay you can kind of hear there's like um pretty spatial like background noise the piano is really pretty um, the spatial background noise, though, could easily be faked with just, like, some well-recorded BGS sounds. I'm gonna leave the... I can't see everything on my, my other monitor because I'm gonna leave the, like, filter, the gain filter open in case it suddenly gets very loud. I'll be able to quickly slam the gain down.
Bang. What did you just say? I think it's supposed to be like, maybe bung. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Korean. Are you okay with your tied hands? Are you okay? What does that mean? It was you who tied me up like this. But it was you! It was secretly you the whole time! There's, um... It's funny, I just... <laughs> There's this old shitty point-and-click flash game. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It was apparently pretty popular. I've only heard of it through videos. Um, called... It, it was like a... It was actually a trilogy, like, Trapped, uh, Pursuit, Escape, I think it was called. The, the development studio was, like, called Godlimations. Um, and, uh, it's funny, I... I I just watched um, a video of someone playing through it for old times sake for the memories of old shitty flash games and it's just funny <laughs> this this right here reminded me because the big twist of the first game is that secretly you were playing the bad guy the whole time but he was an amnesiac and forgot that he was actually the bad guy until he read a news article and was like oh yeah I'm bad all right guess I'll be bad again <laughs> oh, this one's... There we go. Don't you remember? You were the one who made me kneel and tied my neck and hands to this pillar. It's a schizophrenic! He says he... He says he hurt his head and doesn't remember much. Uh... Yeah, I wonder if Korean does the same thing as Japanese and maybe a lot of the pronouns are implied. I wonder if it means she. Well, what is that? Weird anime smile. Stand! I couldn't believe I just fell down the stairs. I fell and hit my head hard. Because of that, you got amnesia or something like that? Uh, it seems to be like that. <laughs> Face jump cat, jump scare. Under! <laughs> Is that right? Under! <laughs> yep, that's the translation. If you think I'm joking. Here. Uh, 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 where, where is it? Under! <laughs> between Japanese... <laughs> Syntax is almost one on one. Very similar between Japanese and Korean. Okay. I had a feeling. Under... <laughs> under... <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, yeah. Underwear? <laughs> Come on, man. She's tied up. What are you talking about? Don't be a creep. Come on, translate. It doesn't want to translate this. Whatever this is, Google doesn't like this. Come on. Come on, boy. You can do it. It's probably a laugh because it's repeating the same characters, right? Here, here, here. So like, ha, ha, ha. Right? Maybe that's why it doesn't want to translate it because it's not like really a word. Come on. You can do it, boy. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. Alright, we're gonna skip it. I believe it's probably just like a laugh. Ah, uh, see, I was right. Ha! Huh, that's ridiculous. See, it translated this- it translated this one! I didn't want to translate the others. Z <laughs> hey, D7. Uh, it didn't translate it properly. Come on. Then I think I can help. You can do it. Are you very confused right now? You probably don't remember where you are or who you are. Well, I know quite a bit. I know who he is and I know where this is. 
I will help you. Say thank you. <laughs> Say thank you. Uh, do I? Because I don't even remember. It looked like it had like a hat. I don't remember. I don't remember what that character looked like. It, it kind of looked like this one. It had like the, the like, to, the katakana to next to it with the circle and the hat. So it kind of looked like that. But I don't really remember, honestly. Hello, D7. Nice to have you here. Instead, there are conditions. Instead of me answering his questions, he lets me go. It's loud. It was like an OT, yeah. <laughs> 07, give me an 07 in chat. An 07, boys! <laughs> uh, what do you mean it's loud? I, I mean, if it's loud, you just turn the, the volume down. Uh, what was this? This was just, uh, oh, I look at you with suspicious eyes. Suspicious eyes. What do you mean? In exchange for me restoring your memories, you are asking for my freedom. Wouldn't this be fair? Oh, there it is. There's the 07. 07. Well, I understand. Since I look like this right now, I must look suspicious. I don't know if you believe it or not, but I'm not a suspicious person, am I? That's exactly what a suspicious person would say! <laughs> it's a long story behind me being tied up like this. Well then, spill it! What does it say? Does it say spill it? Well, sort of. Ask about the reasons why you are tied up. If you're wondering why I'm tied up, of course I can tell you. But I said it earlier, right? If you want to know something, you have to let me go. Uh-huh. Exactly what a suspicious person would say. I'm on to you, girl. Suspicious fries. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I can read that one. Hey, I can read that one. Hey, Alice. I reluctantly agree to the deal. I guess I have no choice. Oh, is I get another text box. Instead, you say... In, wait. Instead, say you will ask a question first. It is so. Well thought out. Please ask any questions. Well, I already asked a question. Yo, I asked you, how did you get tied up? That was my question. You said, nah, uh, uh, not until you uh, free me will I answer. I'll answer them all, so please ask questions one by one slowly. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna be reading it slowly because I gotta wait for the fucking translation. Who am I? Who are you? Where are we? How come you wouldn't answer my other question? Why are you tied up? How did you get tied up? <laughs> what is this gnome bedtime story? Oh god, the whole chat's- Oh god, the whole chat's falling asleep! Oh, I'm a terrible entertainer! <laughs> I picked the worst game! <laughs> oh, finally, my <laughs> choice! Yeah. I don't give a shit about any of these. Who am I? Well, to be honest, I don't know much about him. Is there no you in Korean? Shouldn't it be say shouldn't it say something like I don't know much about you? Man, fucking Asian languages and their fucking pronouns, man. First of all, he was called Moss. Isn't that like your nickname or code name? And again. Do you remember what your job was? 
You are a public security officer. Government secret police. Something like that. I don't fucking speak Korean. <laughs> uh, maybe Wurzak, Can Dinosaur, knows at least some. More than me. I... I couldn't survive at all with Chinese and Japanese, well, <laughs> the Japanese is a struggle. Uh, if you look at novels, there's always a secret police in a dictatorial government, right? That's who you are. Are we in North Korea? Is that where we are? When I looked at it, it didn't seem like he was a high person. Wasn't it probably the lowest level? This this reads very, very Japanese translated through Google. So, yes, I believe you more and more, Wurzak, on what you said earlier about the syntax being very similar. That's the end of that? Okay. Uh, and now it doesn't want to translate. There we go. I guess I just have to ask all of these before it'll progress. Well... Right? That's the first one? Oh no. Um. Um, my real name is a secret. When calling me, please call me Peony. Uh, gosh, I wonder what that actually is in, uh, Korean. Maybe that would sound more pretty, because Peony is such a... <laughs> such an ugly sounding flower name. This game is called The Flower In Us. Or it's not the flower, it's just flower in us, which sounds like a command. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like something that you would tell like, at like a BDSM club. Can you flower in us, please? <laughs> anyways. Anyways, this is this is the peony in us. Um can I get a transliteration? Molon? I don't know if you're making a joke because that's similar to my name, or... Sounds like the name of a porn tape. Flower in us. Peony, best flower though. Where's... Give me... Show me the text. Translate. What is it? Oh yeah, you're right. Mola. Wow. What? What? No. Ah! No. It, it says Mola. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm. It's. It's my girl. It's my. It's my long lost sister. My long lost Korean sister. In a shitty visual novel. <laughs> Sorry, it's not fair they call this shitty yet. We're still at the beginning. And mind you, this is going way slower because not only am I reading this out loud, which slows things down, but also I have to wait for Google to fucking translate! Oh, that's because it's trying to translate from English to Korean. Stop that. Okay, do it. I'm an ordinary college student. I am a member of the Student Revolutionary Group. That sounds like that would be meaningful to me if I was Korean, but I am not. Oh no, never mind. This is maybe not based on real life. In our revolutionary group, we give each other flower names, and I was named Peony. Or Molin. Just like you, I'm at the lowest level. Where are we? So we can finally progress this. This is the basement of the hideout of the student revolutionary group I belong to. We decided to gather here and have a meeting or give a speech, but... Recently, we are preparing for a large gathering, so these days we mainly use it as a place to gather while doing errands. It was originally an old school record shop, but we rented it and are using it as a hideout. Dictatorship? Why are peonies tied? What about the dictatorship? 
Uh, did you forget that too? Well, apparently we forgot everything. The oldest trope in the book, we're an amnesiac. Honestly, it's a bit surprising. Even if I don't know anything else, I thought you would remember that. To put it simply, right after the war ended, an officer named K staged a coup and became a dictator, random Korean. Why did it just throw random Korean in at the end there? N it, n I mean, not literally it said random Korean. I mean, it just was like random Hangul characters. Uh, several years have... It's okay. Change the uh, translation. It's already been a few years since K overthrew its dictatorship, and we are an organization created to overthrow K's dictatorship. The girls being skinned alive outside sound effect kind of lost its charm by now. <laughs> Where did the scar come from? Has it always been on her face? That's also a good question, but unfortunately, that was not one of the choices. Not that she would answer it, because she is sort of indecisive about her rules. First she said she would only answer questions after we untied her, then we asked if we could ask some questions, and then she said, sure, ask all the questions you want, just ask them slowly. I don't know if this is a translation error, or just bad writing. And the uncle is a secret police officer working for the dictator, K. Why are peonies tied? I, I think, oh, I think what it's saying, sorry, that's the translation. It's probably saying, why is Mullen tied? It's actually a simple story. Oh, now you're going to answer it? Today, as usual, we were going to finish our meeting and disperse. Fortunately, today was my duty day, so I stayed in the basement until the end to clean up after myself. Just as I was cleaning up after myself, the man came by surprise. I do believe the man is referring to the player character. So I couldn't resist properly and ended up being tied up like this. Now, to some extent, your curiosity has been answered, right? Now that I've told you everything, will you let me go? I ask if it's okay if I release you. A criminal. A criminal. Stop right there, criminal scum. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Are you a sinner? Me? Um, I believe that's just a mistranslation because of the lack of pronouns and goddamn <laughs> fucking Asian languages. I think it means... I think what it means... I am a sinner? Me? Yes, from your point of view, I am a sinner. I understand. <laughs> Scratch his head. But hey, like I said, I'm just a college student. That means she's dumb. What would I do if I were released? Would I even lunge at a guy who just looks like he's much stronger than me? Even if you let me go, I will just sit here and be quiet, I promise. By the way, you're really going to need my help to get out of here, right? I don't know. I don't know where we are or what we're doing. If you let me go, I'll help you get out of here. Do I need help? I thought we're just in the basement of a building. You just fucking walk up the stairs, open the door, and get out. <laughs> you didn't say we were like in fucking Jigsaw's fucking game. I asked, why do I need your help? Rather than explaining it, wouldn't it be quicker to see it for yourself? Yeah, probably. That would be nice. Look at the basement door above the stairs. You can see why you need my help. Can I play? What does it say? What does it say? Hurry up, hurry up. Survey. It says survey. I think it just means look around. Yeah, so as I was saying, oh, we have three dimensions. Uh, are three dimensions? Whatever, we have an X and Y dimension. The up and down animation is not great. Been staring at this scene for about, I think you mean an hour? I don't think so, but it's been a while. 
Uh, as I was saying before we got into that, gosh, it's a little bit warm. Ah, uh, that'll be fine. Anyways. Multi-lane. You get uh, approximately about three and a half lanes to work with here. It does seem like there's, you know, pixel-based movement. Um, anyways, sorry, as I keep trying to say... Right? Oh, sorry, don't interrupt me. <laughs> um, so it's funny that, like, you have some pretty detailed, like, sprites and worlds, but they still stick with the RPG Maker 3 frames. Um, for animation. It does seem like they... So, interestingly, it does seem like they have an idle pose. Right? Because this, this pose here is different than the walking one. So that's interesting. But it only seems to be with the left and right. When you turn down... I don't know. There's not enough vertical space here to really look. Anyways, what's this? Gotta bust out the... But yes! Where's that? That's what I was saying, is it said that there was English, which is why I picked this game. Yeah, I didn't even entire. Fuck her. <laughs> There's a note on the desk. Record the situation. I think it means save. Yeah. Which, speaking of, can I open the menu now? I guess not. <laughs> this is one of those games. Well... <laughs> Here's your player character, Feet! <laughs> Did you know you are playing as Feet? There's English on Google Translate, yeah. Um. Gosh, I got distracted with that. What was I saying? I don't know, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Big feet, man! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta bust out the translator again. What the fuck does it say? Hurry up! The door is tightly locked. Maybe your feet change as you progress through the game. <laughs> I unlock the door. Observe the area around the door. Do nothing. Well, she said that it's not so simple to leave, so this is this is the unlock the door, so I'm guessing I can't do it so easily. Oh yeah, okay, you gotta put in the, the thing. Uh, observe the area around the door. Ugh. <sighs> The door is equipped with a digital door lock that locks from the inside. Next to the door, there is graffiti that looks like it was carved with a knife. I think they are in the order cross, wind, and flower. Oh my god, I was joking earlier about the fucking point and click. Flash game, and this is like the same kind of dumbass shit that they would throw in one of those kind of Flash games. So, do I need to associate those things with numbers, cross, wind, and flower? So those like associate with a number, and then I put in the numbers. I think there's a small sound effect when you walk over that glass. There is. Will we see moon puzzles? You're supposed to get laid, apparently. <laughs> Back to the lady! What do we got? What does she say? How is it? Are you sure you can go out? Talk about a locked door! 
Man, what a locked door. There's like a lock and it's like sealed. It's like I can't open it. It's almost as if you need a key or something. And man, there's a cross and like some wind and like a flower and like, man, I'm stumped. That's right, the basement here has a door lock that locks from the inside. That door sure is locked. <laughs> Come on. What that means is that you are now trapped here with me. Didn't I trap her here? Okay, is this a pronoun thing that's like got everything mixed up? She, I'm pretty sure she said that it was I who tied her up. You would think that I would also have the, oh, I guess I have amnesia conveniently. So I guess, yeah. Then how the fuck did I get amnesia? what I do, fucking bump my head on a fucking piece of pipe or something? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that. Oh, I didn't read what the choice was. Well, either way, she doesn't want to tell me. Come on. Why? Why? First of all, it's unfair. Oh, I guess I was asking about the password. What do I get if I give my password to you? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Sorry, that answers my question. I'm fucking dumb. Duh. I, I, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Orc just answered it. It's their building, so the door got locked without your knowledge, and she's only, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yep, yep, I'm dumb. Sorry about that. Thank you, Orc. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but you definitely promised to release me earlier, right? What if I don't want to? You're a criminal. But instead of being freed, I'm still tied up like this. Damn straight. So what happens when you trust me? I'm telling you in case you don't know, but this position is very uncomfortable. It's hard to breathe and my calves and hands haven't been... Haven't been bleeding for a while. Hey, oh. Well, then that probably means that... That probably means that we need to just lop those things off. They're no good no more. And secondly, I don't know the password. <laughs> what? <coughs> what, is, what, is, what, is, <laughs> what kind of fucking criminal is this? So, my dude is like, can you tell me the password? And... <laughs> and she's like, well, you promised to untie me. So why would I tell you the password? Stop right there. <laughs> but she doesn't stop right there. So instead, so it's like, if I, if I was this girl, I'd be like, okay, now I can trick him. Now, now I can get untied. And then he's going to untie me. And then he's going to be like, okay, what's the password? And then I can be like, hee hee. I don't know. Oh, silly peony. Right? <laughs> Why did you say that now while you're tied up? Now it's like, well, I have no fucking reason to untie you. You have no help for... You cannot help me at all. <laughs> no, this was a comedy visual novel. Oh, you... Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. I think she meant to say that the bloat float her hands are cut off. That would make more sense. We'll see. Once again, it could be a translation thing where the I secondly, I don't know what the password is. Maybe that was a mistranslation. Hang on. Hang on. Let's let's continue. As I said before, I'm only a member of the revolutionary group. I don't know much about it. However, I can help you figure out what. The, well, <laughs> bitch, I can figure that out myself, too. If you can figure it out, I can figure it out. I don't need your help. I can help you figure out what your password is. What a... <laughs> you are terrible at being a hostage and a criminal mastermind. Next to the basement door lock, weren't there three engraved patterns? Those symbols indicate the door password with a code known only to the leaders of the revolutionary group. 
And I roughly know what each symbol means. Ask how you know that. Ask how you know that. Ask how you know that. How you know that. Even though it's just one unit, it's unfair if you don't know important information, right? So I looked over my shoulder and heard and saw things. Convenient. So I'm saying I can help you figure out the password. Dot, dot, dot. I can read that one. You're afraid to hesitate, but you probably don't have much time, right? Do I? I don't know. We don't know what's going on. What am I being? What am I running out of time for? My, my, how convenient, yes. Do you remember that this is our revolutionary group's hideout? From what I heard, my kids had business to do at the hideout in the evening. I, th I think she means like her troop or whatever, but sure. From what I saw earlier, it looked like you came alone, so I guess... Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Google, for changing that to... So I guess, I guess no one knows you're here. I wonder if that's actually a typo in the game? Why did Google ch change it to... Yeah, every time it translates now, it translates to I guess I guess. <laughs> Makes me wonder if that's a typo in the in the game. I don't know, this is all moon runes to me. I was trying to see if I saw like a repeating pattern that might make it look like they typed the same thing twice, but no, it, it's all moon runes. Even if your people find out that you're here, will our kids come here before your people? It's weird that it translates it to kids. <laughs> Every door has three symbols on it, just in case you can't get in. <laughs> you mean just in case you can't get out? So, if you don't want to be killed by our kids, you'd better hurry and free your hands. Dot dot dot. I decide to release the peony, the molen. What does it say? Come on, translate. But I can't free my neck. Eh? I beg your pardon, why? There is no key to unlock the bicycle chain around your neck. Is that what that is? Hmm, then there's nothing we can do about it. It would be much better if my hands were freed. Then I will ask you to unite my hand. Oh, sorry, not unite. That was my bad. <laughs> Untie my hands first. Like before, if you say you will release it, but don't, it will be difficult. Nani? First of all, would you mind finding something sharp to cut the strings that tie your hands? Like the glass? I don't know. Um, let's do this real fast. Oh yeah, it is the glass. Man, I get we're still at the beginning, so maybe they don't want to overwhelm the players with a bunch of things to interact with, but... Like, they railroad you so hard. Like, there's no brain power when this was not interactable before, but now it is. Also, I recognize the way that this floats up and down. Or do I? Maybe not. I was gonna say, I think that's Galv's action indicator, but anyways. <laughs> no, we're not there yet because we don't trust her. She's a criminal. Um. Anyways, yeah, it kind of sucks that like before I couldn't interact with these and now I can interact with them. So obviously, duh, that's what I need to interact with. I don't know what it says. I don't care. We'll just, uh, God damn it. I must, I assume that means like take a pee. <sighs> okay. Translate. Pick up shards of glass. Yeah, I got I got it. Alright. Do I need to go around? There you go. Oh wow, it actually translated as a name for once. 
Molin's neck is tied with a bicycle lock made of iron wire and his hands are tied tightly with the rope. Means her hands. It seems like a piece of glass can cut the rope. Oh, it's a mini game. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> oh, she's gonna start bleeding. There was there's the horror there for a minute. Did you did you did you catch that horror? If you blinked, you missed it. Uh, yeah, there's a mini game. I, I I can't believe I started this off with a joke of this being like those old point point and click flash games. And the more we get pe through all the translated dialogue, the more it feels like it is just like those old point and click flash games. He's not even cutting it with a sharp part. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't know they would really release it. What did I let her know? Oh, uh, did I forget to translate something? You free someone. It's very surprising. I kept my promise, so I will... So I tell you to keep your promise, too. Oh, sure, sure. I will tell you as much as I can. The first graffiti next to the door was a cross, right? If it's a cross, it's definitely something to do with our decorations. Our leader is a huge Christian, I assumed. To some extent, I chose something like a Bible verse of the day, every day, and memorize it. I had a feeling that's what it was going to be. Man, this traffic jam outside is never gonna let up. <laughs> On a random day, I never tire of talking to people about what the verse is today and what it means. See, I had already assumed it was probably gonna be a Bible verse. There's there's a, only a limited number of those. I could I could just try all of them. Huge Christian. Still, there are some kids who listen to what the leader says, but most get bored and run away. Yeah, I would too. The important thing is that our revolutionary group ex executives, even though they are not Christians, ask the leader about this verse of the day first. It seems it. I've seen executives a few times hear a phrase from the manager and immediately go to the basement door and do something. Oh my god, that's a long one. So my guess is this. The number of the leader's verse of the day is set by including it in the basement door password. Oh, do I have to crack open a... Oh, that's what it is. I gotta crack open the Bible. The cross is the hint that it's, it's a verse in the Bible. Next, we gotta look for a verse that's about the wind and the flowers. And that's the number. I think Molin's argument makes sense. <coughs> then I ask, how many times is today's verse? I think it means like what number? I don't know that. I was one of those people who ran away because I didn't want to hear it. <laughs> That's how I react when I hear anyone spout Christianity at me. Oh! Not the Christian! <laughs> that's the rash that's the only rational and reasonable way to handle anyone who's Christian. <laughs> Just scream and run away and shout, You're boring! <laughs> That doesn't mean there's no way to find out what the verse of the day is. This morning I saw the director m marking something on a Bible and putting it in his locker. And conveniently, that locker's in the fucking basement. So <laughs> take a look at the leader's locker. Yeah. If there's a Bible in there, check to see if there's any sign on it. 
God, do you have to spell it out for me or can I use my fucking brain? God! Say you understand. <laughs> I, I know what that means, but it sounds like I'm, I'm telling the woman, Say you understand! Say it! <laughs> if you need help, please ask me because I'm not running away. Ha! What a jokester! From now on, you can get help and show items to Peony. Okay. Still don't have a menu. I was hoping that my- oh, there is a menu. Just kidding. What's this? Come on. Options. Oh wow, it really is at 100%? Lockers usually have a lot. <laughs> yeah, true that too. Wow, I'm surprised. It has, um, the volume is at 100%, and this game is really fucking quiet. I had to crank that fucker up so you guys could hear it. Plus 20 dB. And what, it, it barely peaks out at minus 10 on my VU? Jesus, man. They, they like, took the, the RPG Maker problem and fucking flung it in the opposite direction. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I don't know. I, I'm kind of done with this one. Um, uh, first, let's fix the volume before we open up any other programs, because that will blow people's eardrums out. Break your speakers if I leave the gain up that loud. Uh, there we go. So... And that's because it's not MV6. <laughs> Meg. Meg, can I do it? Do you remember? Can I do it? Everyone has to turn their volume way the fuck down. <laughs> I want to do it. Hang on. We're going to we're going to put we're going to put this to visuals because obviously not everyone is uh uh, as as aware of music stuff uh first we gotta go to the we gotta get regular old theme theme six open here um so we're gonna just we're gonna browse the local files we're gonna go to the oh god where where do they fucking store this shit new data new data audio bgm Where's theme six? There it is, theme six. And we gotta wait for Reaper to open up. I don't know why you're going so slow. Come on, Reaper. I started using Weeper. There we go. I routinely need to set my computer speakers to five when playing RPG Maker games. Yeah, man. I am so disappointed by that too. If you. <laughs> Compressed theme 60 universe will implode. That's not what I- No, I'm not gonna- That's not what I'm gonna do. I don't know what you're talking about. Why is Reaper taking so long to load up? <laughs> it, it, it knows what's coming. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's why it's opening a project. I thought I just clicked new, new project. Don't open the project. <sighs> But yeah, uh, as I was saying, this is this is what I don't like about RPG Maker. There are so many people I have read that they like they've said like on RPG Maker web that basically now because of how loud the fucking RPG Maker is, they just whenever they play test someone's game, they uh they they don't even have the volume on, and that makes me sad. I mean, I understand why, but it's like. Man, I hope when you play test my game, you'll have the volume on. I'm careful about that. I have uh, two things that play, kind of technically three. Um, number one, I guess that kind of technically three is, uh, well, I work in audio, so I know how to mix things relatively well. The mixing tools in RPG Maker are not very effective, so it's not a perfect mix, but anyways, mixed well enough. Um, Number two, the, the, one of the main reasons is, uh, 
I have a master volume slider and the default is set to 70. And you're like, well, RPG Maker's 70% is already pretty loud. So that's not false because number three, I have uh, Turin's special plugin, which is like the dev's master master volume, which is a master volume slider that only the developer has access to. And so I set the default volume down to 40% in the master master volume that you can't see. So that 70% is 70% of the 40%. My game will not blow out your ears when you launch it. Also, the first song is really quiet. Um, let's zoom in here for a bit and uh, look at Reaper. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful song. Wow. Uh, watch your ears. It's This is, in fact, uh, theme six. I'm gonna turn it down on my end too. Right? Oh. It's still fucking loud. Theme 6. Yeah, wow. What a wonderful theme 6. All right. We're going to look over here for a moment as I scroll casually over here. And then I'm going to pan back. And now you're looking at the black void. And now you're wondering what the black void is. Well, the black void is... Theme six. This is theme six. You can see all these beautiful peaks and valleys that show the, the flow of the music. And this is theme six that has been compressed to hell and back, to hell and back, to hell and back again. <laughs> this is called warning theme six. Turn your volume down now. Seriously. 100% seriously. Turn your volume down. This is not black mini. This is black waveform. Turn your volume down. This is not a joke. I have to ruin my shit post with how fucking loud this is. Ready? There you go. <laughs> you like theme six? I got your theme six right here. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay. Deep fried. <laughs> oh, it's so mega fried, man. <laughs> this is just a fuck. Oh, well, look, there's some waveform in there. You can see a little bit of waveform. <laughs> there's the waveform. I found it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's there's a few peaks and valleys in there. There's there's a few. But when you're at, like, a, you know, a reasonable distance, you know, I think that's too many peaks and valleys. Now that I look at it, that that's too many. You can that's too many. You know, we gotta, we can make this louder. We can make it louder. Here's what you do. You gotta raise the noise floor first. So we throw on a little OTT and then we wanna raise the noise floor first. We wanna get rid of those, those valleys is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna lift those valleys up. We really wanna lift those valleys up. Just lift them up. Just lift them up, bring the upward up. Don't even worry about the downward stuff. Just bring the upward up, right, right? Uh, you know, we can throw in a little gain. We can throw in a little gain. It's fine. The only way is up, Nolan. <laughs> you know, I'm just not happy that there are some peaks and valleys in there, okay? That's all. All right? There's, there's too many of them in there. I missed that, right? Oh, no. <laughs> this is what happened before. Reaper has a safety limiter on it that if the measured volume the measured perceived volume exceeds a certain value it will automatically mute the track uh <laughs> i can't go any louder because reaper won't let me <laughs> anyways <laughs> oh no <laughs> so anyways before we move on to the next game, I want to give another reminder that you can see, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, uh, up, uh, up, 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 I don't know how the point in a 2D space. At the top of the chat, 
there is a pinned message there that goes to a Google form. Um, turn the mixer down. I could do that, but I'm just not going to. <laughs> and thus the GT2000 jump scare is undefeated. Um, that Google form is to sign up for the beta test for my game. I want to talk about another point on the beta test. Um... So, I wanted to talk about what I'm currently doing in wrapping up the beta test. So, I did talk about that it's not ready yet. And yes, this is going to be my just chatting section. It's talking more about the beta test. Deal with it. It's my stream, and I'll talk about what I want. So, um, the reason... So, what I'm working on currently is... So the, the state of the game currently is that there's the intro, right? Um, and the, the intro is actually what I'm working on currently, which is funny. Um, I, <laughs> the original OG intro to the game, um, I've told this story many times. The game originally kind of started out as just kind of a tech demo, just a learning kind of thing. Um, and so I wasn't taking development very seriously. We shilling the beta, we're shilling the beta test, motherfucker. That's what we're doing. Um, so... The very OG version of the game didn't take itself too seriously, and as a result, the intro to the game is just doesn't really align with where the game is now, because somewhere during the middle of development, I decided I'm going to make it into a commercial game, and when I decided to make it into a commercial game, that involved taking a lot more things seriously and kind of getting rid of some of the jank. Funny how that works. Um... So that's what I'm working on now, and that's what we're waiting for, basically. Um, my hope is to redo this intro. It's super cool, man. I, I love this new intro. It integrates the... So, like, the way that this, this worked before, right? So it integrates the tutorial and also the story all, all in the beginning, and it's also so much snappier and speedier. It's great. I love it. Um, the way this worked before is that, first of all, the tutorial, like your basic tutorial, um, was completely separate from like the intro story event. So that's already like kind of double the length because it's like we have story that happens and then we have tutorial that happens. Well, that sucks because that just kind of like makes it even longer before you get into the game. So, uh, that's, that's all been tossed out. Um, then, of course, I wanted to redo the intro. The The old intro had a, a whole lot of talking, you know, that shit that I complain about with a lot of the, the games that I played on here. And it's like, you know, I reviewed that, that writing and I went through a few different editing passes on it and eventually came to realize, ah, just fuck it, just get rid of it all. Uh, just, just throw it away. Just get rid of it. Don't need it. Just completely start again from scratch. Um, and it's, it's the... There's, I don't know, I think maybe, like, for the, the main first part of, like, there's, there's like, the whole intro that's also somewhat, like, playing as a tutorial, and that section is, like, I don't know, maybe, like, ten message boxes in total, um, you know, spread out across the whole tutorial. It's hard not to info dump at the intro. The thing is, it's, like... Um, maybe to the dissatisfaction to some, um, th th you don't, it's not important. I, there's not a lot that needs to be set up for the game. The way that I want this to be done and the way that I've treated it is that you just accept it that this is how things are. I don't need to explain why someone is here, why someone is there. I don't need to explain where we are. It's just... You are here, that thing happened, and now you are there. You don't need any more context to it. And I deliberately just kind of avoid that because I think it does nothing but bog the whole game down. And to be honest with you, that's kind of how it was in the original version. Um, that's not something that I've like come to realize with this new rewrite. That's how it was, it's just before there was like I don't know, I was just very ham-fisted with a lot of metaphors and stuff, just kind of over-explaining symbols and stuff. And also, like, so the the game, like I said, you know, the, the original intro was based on the... No one's got to figure it out, maybe. I don't know if it's the winning formula, but anyways... 
it's info that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the old, like, um, tech demo version of the game was sort of like a, a was sort of a commentary on, um, asset flip, asset flip games and, and stuff like that. And just game design, development and design in general. Uh, first of all, it just feels kind of naive looking back on that because I really hadn't delved when I started that, I was definitely far more innocent to the world, so it seemed weird to be commentating on that when I didn't have as much experience at that time. Um, and so, you know, a lot of that was just like, I don't know, it, it, I don't know how to explain it. It was just, it was weird, it was just, uh, just not taking itself too seriously. And that's kind of, and that was kind of the point, like I said, because originally it started out as just a tech demo that I was just learning with and stuff like that. And I'm over here, like, tell a few things, let the player get into it. Yeah. Um, there's still, like... So, and this is a thing that I could probably see Orc uh, getting... Being like, oh, man, what are you doing? Bah, bah. So, um, that's exactly how Orc acts, for sure, 100%. <laughs> orc angry! Oh, why game slow? Orc no like slow game. Slow game are for babies. Orc no baby. Orc man. Orc big man. <laughs> also show don't tell. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Anyways. Um, you know, I still have, like, I don't know. I, I've always been uh, a little bit artistic. You know, my mom always said, oh, I have... <laughs> well, <laughs> My my boy's artistic, and that don't mean he's gay. <laughs> I have a little artistic boy. <laughs> he's just he's a little bit artistic. That's all. <laughs> so this artistic boy, <laughs> orc no like shitty map. <laughs> so this little artistic boy has to you know have to have his little artist moments, you know, and has to have like you know, metaphors and allusions and uh, stuff like that. So, you know, there's there's a little bit of that in there because I, the thing is, is that a lot of the game, once you actually get into, like, playing the game, uh, like, the only time you need to do, like, dialogue stuff is when you're interacting with the town, which is kind of like the whole, like, slice of life section where you would expect there to be dialogue. But when you're doing, like, the exploring and all of that, you know, the story is, like, out of the fucking way. Um, so, I don't get many opportunities within the main game itself to to be a little artistic child. So, that I, I gotta do it at the beginning. Um, it sets up motivation. Sets up character motivations. And also sets up, uh, like, purpose to, like, a lot of the design in the game. I have artistic. <laughs> no, I am artistic. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, but I, I do try to just st still be aware. Um, to keep things short and concise and simple. Um, so, that's what I'm doing. Be a little autistic child. Got it. I didn't say autistic. That's not what I said. I said I, I'm a little artistic. I'm a little artistic. That's all. <laughs> We're all game developers. We're all a little bit artistic. <laughs> that don't mean you're gay. <laughs> Just because you're a little bit artistic don't mean you're gay. <laughs> That's a, that's, a, that's a reference to that's that's a deep cut reference because my brain is fucking mush on YouTube. <laughs> Artism, yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, so basically, that's what I'm working on now. Is I'm redoing the intro um there's a lot of work going behind it too especially i want to make the intro meaningful it's like your first impression um and depending on how you play the game it's also going to be 
it could be a long time until you have gameplay again. The game does leave that choice up to you, so hopefully people who are eager to play the game would just go play the game, <laughs> because <laughs> after the intro, that is a choice, but you do start in the town where, you know, there's all the slice of life stuff, so, you know, you could theoretically just be like, <coughs> I want to play the game, but I'm going to go talk to this person for some reason. <laughs> I, I suppose, theoretically, that could happen. So, because of that, you know, I want to make the, the very first beginning start off with a nice big POW, right? Catch people's attention. I've talked about this before in the past. Gotta catch people's attention right at the start. And then after the start, your game can be a little bit shitty for a little while. And then it can pick up again later. But you gotta catch the attention first. Grip people. Grip people by the balls and tell them this is why you want to be here. You hear me, son? This is why you want to stay. I'm gonna, totally going to go do exactly that. Uh, that's fine. And then complain about it. And, and that's also fine. One of the things I am aware of, I wanted to try to fix this before shipping out the the beta test, but it's, it's probably not going to happen. The intro, because I got sick for a week and couldn't really do any work on the game, first of all, and that... that put a delay on things. And then also, um, the, the intro is taking a little bit longer than expected. Um, so, um, I don't think this is going to happen, but one of the things I did want to do, there are some of the intro interactions with some of the NPCs. They are a little bit long winded. Um, some of the newer interactions that I've done with NPCs, um, have been, uh, sped up a lot. Um, there's a couple of there's a couple of NPC interactions that I did already go back and redo only minor editing um, I cut a couple of lines here and there that seem meaningless and then also um, Back back in the old days um, I would really spread a lot of messages out across multiple message boxes um, which I think uh, the more message boxes you have kind of contributes more to that feeling of like just get on with it uh even if it's the same number of words but less message boxes i think that kind of helps keep the pacing feeling a little bit smoother it's it's a small little bit that goes a long way so there's been a couple of npc interactions that i haven't done heavy editing to but i have at least consolidated um their you know their text where it's like multiple message box longs into like just a few like reduced number of message boxes in total um Unfortunately, like I said, I wanted to do that for all of the NPC introductions before the beta test because I know that's going to be one of the complaints that comes up is that some of the interactions are a little bit long-winded. What can I do? I promised it. Uh, you know, th there's so many other things, other changes and improvements I want to make. If I keep saying, well, I want to get this in, I want to get that in before I ship it, I want to get this in before I ship it, and that, it, 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 there'll never be a beta test. So at a certain point, I'm just going to have to call it and say, well, they're going to complain about that. Oh, well, I know I need to fix it. I will fix it before the final release of the actual game. Uh, but people will complain about it in the beta test. That's fine. And so basically what I'm saying is, yeah, you probably will complain about it. I'm aware of it. No problem. Uh, so, anyways... Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm working on. Uh, intro, all that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next game. Oh, there's a Windrider update queued. Look at that. We're not playing Windrider today, though. Next, we're going to play Artifact Seeker. Oh, I didn't even grade that last game. Hang on. Man, I'm getting ahead of myself. Look at that. Who gives a shit about the grade? Who gives a shit? Oh, I was going to play Flower and Us last. Well, glad I played it first. Let's move it down. Polish, accessibility, clarity. Oh, definitely clear. Balance is fine. Although, actually, no. I'm going to give it zero because balance is not about how hard it is, but it's also about how easy it is. And I didn't like how I explained everything to you. Unique identity has got that. Okay. There you go. Flower and Us. Just... <laughs> subvert just to subvert expectations i would be very surprised and wonder what the fuck is wrong with you all right 
so there, there's the grades. Three. Who gives a shit? Um, oh, you didn't even see it. God damn it. Here you go. Three. It's a three. You don't need to see three. You know what the number three looks like. All right, three. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one. So, okay, this is Artifact Seeker. Um, I purchased this game out of my own pocket. Um, it is not necessarily because I thought it was a particularly interesting game. Um, this is apparently falls under the Vampire Survivors type game. And I will be honest with you, I have never played Vampire Survivors or any game um, that is a spinoff of it. So, um, I, I, I have, I can't compare it to Vampire Survivors. I don't know how it would compare to it, but whatever. Uh, I wanted to play this game because, uh, one, it's new and popular, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping that because of it being new, uh, and recently released, um, that it, uh, that it would, and Tritium, you hit on something I want to talk about, um, that uh, you've broken my train of thought. Damn you, Tritium. <laughs> because it's new and recently released, I uh, am hoping that uh, by playing it, that maybe uh, some people may come over to my channel wondering what's up. Uh, it is clickbait, but I'm not currently doing clickbait because of a promise I made in the last, uh, last stream that I did um, to the uh, Goose King developer. Where, well, where I've uh, cut out, for, for we're doing a test, I've, I've cut out the clickbait in my thumbnails to see how things do. So, anyways, but this is, my form of clickbait is by uh, picking games that are newly released and hopefully being searched for on YouTube. That's the reason why I picked this game. I honestly have no interest in it. However, there is an interesting drama around this. Um that uh, Tritium already hit on. Uh, is it AI art? Where did you see that? Um, I saw one review in here that said it uses AI art. And I was looking at the art and it's like, it feels like it and also kind of doesn't feel like it. Am I missing, does it say it somewhere plainly in English that says this uses AI art? Um, I thought they were supposed to tag their games. I smelt it a mile away. <laughs> well, see, I thought you're supposed to tag your games as using AI art on Steam now. That's their new policy. And I don't see any tag anywhere that says it's AI art. So, but anyways, someone else had left a comment on there saying that it's uh, AI art and they're disappointed with the developers. And so that's what we're going to try to sniff out. Uh, also, sorry, what did, what did I miss from Alice? Uh, Vampire Survivors was fun. I played it obsessively for a week. Then I absolutely grew tired of it and haven't touched it since. Great time waste. Sounds like it. Um, my microphone's not picking that up, but... What is that sound? You don't hear it, but I hear it. Oh, okay. It's like a car alarm. This is a weird sounding car alarm. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see any mention about the AI here. Um, well, that's what we're gonna keep an eye out for is if it's AI art. So anyways, that's what we're gonna be playing. We're gonna be playing Artifact Seeker. Uh, and I will say, um, as is the rule whenever I buy these games out of my own pocket, basically the rule is, is it needs to get a passing grade on Packbutt here. Uh, and if it doesn't, uh, I refund it and I will use the refunded money to buy another game. So that's the plan. Let me go ahead and launch it. Why is it launching on that screen? Don't do that. 
Oh, wait, it's Steam input? Okay, well, I don't want to use my controller. I don't know what it's talking about. Okay, there it is. It also minimized my OBS. There we go. All right. So I already want to look for AI art here. There is definitely something weird going on right here. I like this arch. First of all, it's all like fucked up. <laughs> And then there's like this like kind of stone pattern that just kind of disappears into like this arch here. Alrighty, fresh and steamy games, yeah. Um Yeah. Health warnings? Oh boy, I love it when a game is gonna ruin my health. Photo sensitivity, okay. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> Normally games just make it a splash screen when you launch the game. Here it's a, I hope, <laughs> I hope you clicked that option and saw that. <laughs> we put it in there. Uh, they have usual uh, graphics display options. I mean, not super in depth. It looks like just preset qualities. Mmm, squirt blood. Dude, I love squirters. Squirters are my favorite. <laughs> Wait, it says far, but this was low. Oh, I see. It's just saying that the end is far. Oh, I might have to look away. Why is that? Because of the squirters? You don't want to look at squirters? Oh, the photosensitivity. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It has rebindable keys, as one would expect, and rebindable uh, controller. Mouse only mode. You know, they keep that other hand free for the squirter mode. And customize. Neat. Seems like it's got all the good options there. Um, menu needs new game. Load side effects options. Alright, let's start. Okay, this feels mobile as shit. Enter the battle map. Upgrade the castle level to challenge higher difficulty. Is it AI? <laughs> That's the question. Is it AI? It... I don't think so. I don't see anything that stands out here. This is such a game. It is, it is one of the games. Wouldn't surprise me if it's a mobile port. Someone get on that. Choose a weapon and skill to start the run. Um, there's no like hover over tooltips, it's just here. That's a lot of text, I don't care. Let's just start a fight. Choose a map node to start your journey. Normal, normal, normal. They're all normal. I don't know. Let's pick a bridge level. Out of all the games out there, this is one of them. Okay. Keyboard and mouse options. WASD. Mouse. Position. Dash. Special skill. Right mouse. Okay. You can turn on auto aim in the control settings or switch to my oh okay what what would auto aim do just play the game for me i guess you'd still need a dash too many skill effects in the game may block the view you can also adjust the skill visibility that's nice you know what i'll tell you what meg 
still visibility. Let's crank that down. Uh, let's leave it at 50% for now, and if it gets intolerable later, then I can turn it down lower. Just say something, Meg. Right, so... Okay, we're already upgrading. God, this is overwhelming. This is like some fucking mobile shit. Look at all this shit they throw at you on the screen. You got these fucking particle effects, you have these walls of text cards to pick. And then you got all these stats over here. Oh, and each of them have a hover over. Well, I'm glad they have that because it'd be nice to know what those mean, but... Wow, this is fucking overwhelming. Holy shit. That one's a new one, but these three are recommended. I don't know. Uh, launch homing missiles that repeatedly ricochet between enemies. That sounds good. Launch chains of lightning to electrocute multiple enemies. Release a powerful whirlwind that damages and knocks back enemies in its path. I don't know. Let's do that one. That sounds fine. Really? Oh, and we leveled up again. Also, th that sound effect, that's like a fucking Twitch sound effect, right? What is the, What are these stock sound effects, man? Let me crank up the volume of my headphones so I can hear this a little bit better. Plays for a few seconds, instant level up. <laughs> Plays for a second and instant level up again. Just survive vampires or whatever. <laughs> Eyes emit intimidating light that immobilizes enemies. Oh, this is gameplay. Oh, yeah. Launch homing missiles that repeatedly ricochet. Oh, that's the one that I have. Oh, I can level it up? Oh, this is the skill that I have now. And then I can level it up some more. I don't know. Let's get some, some CC in there. Oh, and I've leveled up again. Wow, are you feeling that fucking dopamine? You leveled up and you moved around for three seconds and you leveled up again. Oh my God. <coughs> it hurts my throat. <coughs> Not the best design, but if this is a VS game, don't worry about it. Just pick the coolest sounding ones for the start. Okay. Summon multi- oh yeah, summon some skelly, some skelly men's. I've leveled up again, oh, feel the dopamine. Continuously release lightning rays forward? Is it just literally continuous? Yes. No. I'm so dopamined. Oh god, I'm dopamine dopamining so hard right now. All those numbers get so big, and I level up, that means the numbers get bigger. Oh, dopamining so hard. The bats living atop the thunder spire absorb the essence of lightning all year round. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's the bats living atop the thunder spire absorb the essence of lightning all year round. I've yet to find the XP gauge on the screen. I do believe it's this yellow bar at the bottom. Um. Launch mana serpent spheres that seek out enemies. Uh, thunder laser. We'll just upgrade my thunder laser. Yeah, it's the orange bar down here. Four, three, two, one. Uh, I don't know. Just fucking upgrade that one, sure. Boom, 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 boom. Sounds like AI. Yeah, maybe. It is a Chinese game as well, so it might be AI translated. So it's, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll try to pay attention to it. Bats be sucking electricity. Ah, oh, look at all those numbers. I don't know what they mean, but they look super cool. Oh, more choices. This, le uh, it's, oh, but it's 4,000. How many do I have? Oh, there it is. 
Holy shit, I can't find anything with all this garbage on the fucking screen. <laughs> Holy nutsack. Uh, old Bible. Oh, that's that sounds like a... The old Bible gives me 50 HP. Well, see, what the last game taught me is I'm supposed to run away whenever there's... See, I'm gonna run away from that. I, I don't know how to handle Christians other than just screaming and running away from them. The wooden doll, now voodoo. Now that's my jam right there. This doll is wrapped around by ancient runes. Period with no space. Just one, that's runes dot just. One glance at it and you can feel the boundless darkness. Sp skill damage plus 10%. But luck minus four. Oh God, not luck minus four. What does that mean? Well, let's go over here. Good luck al almost affects all random elements. Extra rewards for luck check in event. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. This is a nightmare for people who need to vocalize everything that you read. Yes. There's also a prologue game apparently. Oh, wow. There were babes in the screenshots. Where are they now? Uh, <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a gotcha mechanic. I gotta probably die and then I can maybe do a lucky pool. Indeed, I saw boobs on the Steam page. Where are they? There's a story here. Do I get- do I care? I should probably read it. God damn it. Whatever. We're gonna skip it. Oh, there's like little like... This broken sword isn't even worth 100 gold? This should be a fine sword. I'll buy it. Chinese characters. And I leveled up. Okay. What is... I... More skelly men's. And we'll go to encounter unknown event. It's a campground. You're walking in desolate highlands as nightfall approaches. You need to find a safe place to spend the night. Upon careful examination of your surroundings, you find two options, a beer and a continue sign. A cave hidden among low shrubs. Though narrow and dark, it has been used by wildlife for a long time. Straw and animal bones lie pressed at the entrance, looking relatively clean. The other is an abandoned mine. The mine entrance is large and open. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> but the mine shafts go deep into the mountain. Dark and damp. Dark and damp. But good thing it's not dank. <laughs> Both choices fill you with fear and discomfort, but you ultimately have to find a place to get through the night. You weigh the pros and cons of both, hesitating in your mind. I don't give a shit. The dark cave, sure. You enter the cave. Moonlight slants in from the entrance. The walls of the cave come in to... Wait, where's... Wait, where's the mine and where's... I don't fucking... I don't give a shit. Lightning chain leveled up. Wow, good to know. And I can level it up again. Let's do that. Oh, and more levels? Hot damn. Well, we'll just get some of that fucking CC. And we finally get a normal fight. What did I miss here? Uh, Luck is just a stat they, f they fuck with. Someone missed some spots. One is a dark cave and the other is a dark cave. Right? Ah, you gotta pick up the XP. I see now. Oh, see, we're we're a higher level now, so the levels come slower. Oh, speak of the devil. Well, we gotta level up the Skelly Man. Fight, Skelly Man, fight! Do my bidding. Hey, who just donated some bits? Thanks! Thanks, bit donator. 
Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, I didn't get it. Well, damn. Numbers. Ancient arrows, but I don't have enough? Well, dang it. There's a synergy with this one. Let's get the one that says synergy. I like to synergize. These kind of games are somewhat easy to program, which is partly why there's a ton of them. Which is probably why there's a ton of them. I'm gonna be honest, I've never played any fucking game like this. Um, didn't play the OG that started the trend. Didn't play any copycats. <laughs> uh, thank you, anonymous and fictional bit donor. <laughs> you come across a lake at night. I wonder if there's gonna be a lake or a pond. In the center of the lake, you see a young girl with cascading blonde hair and several curly locks dipped in the water. Moonlight falls on her delicate skin, making her look like a living sculpture dot. You feel as if you, yourself, are also being watched. Can't miss such a beautiful sight. Turn around and leave. Continue the journey. Continue the journey. Right on. Summon guards. Ah, hell yeah. But these are recommended. Oh, lightning bat. Oh no, that's the one that, that hangs out all year round just eating lightning or something. If I did this, I would add more level exploration. The enemies just walk straight at you for fuck's sake. Yeah. Text says curly hair. Picture has straight hair. Checks out. Yeah. Well, oh, let's just have more dudes running around. Oh, and I leveled up again. See how much experience points I got for just... Just... You know, piecing out of there. A girl at the lake? Nah, homie. <laughs> girls? Uh, of course I like girls. Of course, of course. Girls, I love, I love those, I love those, the things, you know, the, the chest. God, I love them. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck it, let's max out the lightning chain. What is this, mild mode? <laughs> An elite fight? Oh, that's my only choice. Which elite fight will I take? The pit or the tower? Well, this is, I mean, this game is the pits, but, you know, we're gonna go up on the tower. What makes this elite? Let's see if there's a chest here. Oh, these guys take more than one hit. Elite, e oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they just spawn in more and more. Oh gosh, what is that? <laughs> there's a shadow. Gosh, there's so much drama. I can't wait for my numbers to go up though. God, I want some dopamine so bad. God, I could go for some dopamine right about now. Where's that dopamine? I need it. Come on. Give me the dopamine. Oh, there's the dopamine. Oh, thank God. Wait, I thought I already maxed it out. They're getting to the mosh pit. Yay. Let's, uh, I don't know. We need more thunder laser damage. Oh God, that bird just swooped out of nowhere. Oh, I have two lasers now! Oh, God. Am I gonna do it? Is that really it? That, that was the end? I don't know. Let's just fucking upgrade the skelly, man. Oh, a loot box. Wow, that was the fastest loot box opening I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, telescope? 
grants you the ability to gaze into the vast expanse of the universe. Attack range? I guess so. Oh, XP bone! Oh, wait. Wait, can I take all of these? Oh no, okay, you only take one. So dopamined? Oh my god, I'm dopamining so hard right now. Legend has it that a gambling king once used this dice to reverse the situation at a critical moment. <laughs> so... So non-specific. If there is ever a summary of this game, legend has it that this game has happened. <laughs> it's so stupid. Enemy respawn? Is that what I want? Do I want more enemies? Healing potion? <coughs> but wait, it doesn't heal. I don't know. Fucking do the, the gambler's thing. <laughs> the cube is nitrous power. That's why it's so fast. Get a treasure chest reward. I don't know why, but sure. God, is. <laughs> So fast! <laughs> Mushroom soup! Power shot. As the number of penetrations increase, the power increases. Skill with this synergy applies more damage. Swift and gallop. Um, Dice of the Gods. The number of each face are not mere inscriptions, but a fragment of your destiny. And I get plus 20 luck, but I don't know what luck does. I don't know. Just fucking take the plus 20 luck. No, oh, and I leveled up too. God, I'm dopamining so hard right now. Uh, let's, let's get some more attacks going. We need more attacks. Oh, you have to replace a skill. Oh, well, fuck that. Let's just upgrade my skill then. Rest at camp and buy artifacts. Well, I guess those are my only choices. Now, uh, there's Booba. Hey, Booba. Can I buy you? Can I play as you next? Lightning Saber! Oh no, Lightsaber. <coughs> That's an RTP skill animation. Tornado Hound! Divine Light! That's also an RTP animation. Dark Flame Cocktail! I guess I recover energy. It's Enchanter. It's, oh, death skill power, damage, intelligence, critical rate. I don't know. Do the. Oh, those are the. the oh, I see. I can re-roll it. I can re-roll this. Oh, I don't care. Welcome to the shops, the artifact master. Oh, I got no money for that. Well, damn it. Artifact Collector. Oh, I can sell these to him if you want, you know, just get some money. Maybe I don't want to. We can't fuck you guys. And I leveled up for that! Yeah! <coughs> oh, I want to upgrade my Skelly Man, but these guys... These guys need to level up some. Let's get them. Oh, don't worry, I got the level- Ah, oh, hell yeah! Let's do the boss! Oh yeah, fuck all these guys up. Oh, I'm so good at this. Oh god, there's so many enemies. What will I do? Oh, I used my dash for the first time!
Can I just sit here and just like farm a bunch of enemies forever and just like level up? Boss, I thought that was the boss. You don't belong in this forest, I guess. The forest is different than it used to be. It is the influence of the artifact. You don't deserve the artifact. See the power of darkness. Okay. Oh no. I actually have to dodge skills? Oh my god. Did I get hit? Oh gosh, I got hit. Oh yeah, we leveled up. Let's, I don't know, chain lightning. Yeah! Oh, you gotta watch out for the hands. Now there's hands. Oh man, what a challenge. Don't want to step on those hands. Those hands might grab your ball sack. Oh, he's charging! Oh, I killed that guy. Well, I'm glad I was able to do that. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do it. Things were looking pretty dire there for a moment. Oh, man, I don't know if I can do this one. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank God I got that loot box, though. I was just feeling like I was running out of dopamine. My attention span is just running out, you know? This is, you know, this is super... Oh, speaking of super, look at that. Oh, I'm so super right now. God, the dopamine is hitting me so good. When can I do the super again? Let's see. Art may not be AI, but dialogue definitely is. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> oh, that flat ass, I missed that. That flat ass introductory cutscene, yeah, man. Um, 95% this is gonna take a while. Yeah, this looks like a pretty spongy boss. I guess I should just go ahead and focus on him. I'm totally not doing that at all. Watch out, you almost got hit once, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's super time! Oh, the dopamine! Oh, it feels so good. Oh god, the dopamine. Oh, it's so, it's so much. Oh good, thank god I healed. This was this fight this fight was looking impossible. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do it without that healing potion that I picked up. When can I do my super again? Can I, can I do my super again? Oh, thanks for the Twitch bits. Oh, I got hit. Oh, there's the super. Yeah, fuck him up. Look at all that damage. God, I did so much damage. Feel the wrath. Oh, he's upgraded. Thank God. Otherwise, this fight might have gotten stale. We wouldn't want that to happen. Are you having fun yet? Oh god, I got hit! Oh god, I got hit again.
Oh, oh well, I can finally get my super skeletons. Oh, I'm full health again. I didn't even see. Oh, he's dead. Uh. Oh, you can't see the health meter. Sorry, it's behind my. Uh, it's behind my my camera. Uh, kind of dumb when the enemies just get stuck together and don't move, huh? Yeah. Okay. Where is your health? Yeah, I just answered that. Guess. Cool. I didn't buy it, Lamo. I <laughs> did check it out once. Heat level up. Wolves be out. <laughs> Ha ha! Good fight! You are very strong! Isn't the artifact here with you? Turn around, mortal! You will find nothing! Oh god, the dopamine! Well, that one's green, so I'll do that one. Oh, those one. That one's glowing! Oh, so it's gotta be that one. I'll take that one. It's glowing. That means it's good. The battle music is everything I hate. <laughs> Man. <coughs> I picked some terrible... Oh, cutscenes. Shh, shh, shh. Cutscenes. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck was that? This is like a fucking limp fucking run animation of like a goblin off in the distance. Um, a bison horn. Yeah. Um, We having the bongos today. <laughs> cool cutscene. <laughs> what was that cutscene? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, what's this customize button? Oh, you mean options? Okay. <laughs> then what's this? Um, a menu. Feedback. Wait. No? Oh, cool. I have some feedback for you. How about you actually, like, layer your fucking menus right? <laughs> um, I can join their Discord. I can talk to them on Billy Billy or their QQ group. Uh, let's see. It says... Hello, we pay great attention to your gaming experience and actively listen to your comments and suggestions. Your feedback is very important skill cooldown. Um, help us improve the quality of our games, but also to ensure that you have the options fun. We want you to have fun during the game to experience the game content carefully designed and polished. However, we also know that no game crit damage. There will be... Inevitably, there will inevitably be some shortcomings or mistakes. Therefore, we ho feedback will take a moment to share your gaming experience and o oh, rage. We welcome all kinds of feedback and suggestions, whether it's about the game's control, difficulty, graphics, or game balance. You can provide f scavenge, death the in game. Ed back channels or through our official social media ch match history. Carefully read each feedback and respond as soon as possible. Your feedback will help us continuously improve the game and enhance your gaming experience. Thank you for your support and attention to the game. We will work as hard as ever to bring you a better gaming experience Look forward to your armor piercing. Physics, hope you have a good time. Defense element team. <laughs> Mwah. Couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> um, 
Mateys, we have more space. <laughs> so you won the map, we have to fight a new map. Yep. They put the feedback screen on the wrong layer. <laughs> yes. This is great. I think I would be pretty into this game if I had like five or six shots in me. <laughs> This is- I think it might be pretty fun to get drunk and stream, but this is fucking atrocious. How did you manage that? I love the attention to polishing their shortcomings. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright. You know, my pack butt system kind of doesn't care about this kind of shit, so I'm- I'm gonna break my own rule here. I don't give a shit. I give zero shits. Whatever grade it gets on this, I am refunding this game. This is dog water. This is absolute fucking dog water of a game. No, <laughs> I hate this fucking game. Um, polish. No, <laughs> absolutely not. It does get accessibility. Clarity? Ah, uh, no, there's so much shit on screen. Balance? I'd say it's too easy. Uh, unique identity. Eh. <laughs> that was RPG Maker level, <laughs> Jake. That was fucking terrible. So, regardless of what I just said a moment ago, it's a two. So if we follow my rules, it would be a refund anyways. Uh. Oh god, I always forget how to do this. It's like support. Right? Um, it's not what I expected. I'd like to request a refund. Just put it in my wallet. Uh, can I write a reason? Here, let's see. My, my reason to refund is it's not fun. It won't start. The game didn't match the video. Blah, blah. I'd love to write my own response and say too much dopamine anyways it's not fun oh good there we go i can add a note too much dopamine well no no, no. let's make it i'm dopamining too hard there we go that's my note i dopamine too hard would like some ozu right now. I don't know what ozu is. That uh, is that Greek food? Uh, it kind of screams mobile game. Yeah, it feels like it. Um, play Immortal Sins next. Why does that sound familiar? Are you fun reason this is jank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is Immortal Sins? We gotta look this up. Hang on. I'm gonna look at my face for a moment. Funny thing, the dev will be able to read the reason, and they're gonna be like, Oh, can, can you read the reason? <laughs> they won't fucking understand. I'm pretty sure they're Chinese, and all this has been AI translated. I don't think any of them speak a lick of fucking English. Uh, immortal sin. Z it's plural. It's an episode of Torchwood. There's mortal sins. Fifteen mortal sins Catholics are missing. I gotta run away from that. I can't. I can't. I can't. I gotta run away every time there's Christianity. I can't handle it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. Ah, Christianity! You can read refund requests indeed. Yeah, they read it with the Google Translate. <laughs> I can understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Immortal Sins game. Let's search that instead. See what comes up. RPG Maker Wiki fandom. There's there's an RPG Maker Wiki page and are they gonna fucking catalog every no names fucking game on here because it's apparently oh why don't you fucking say something ace <laughs> this, 
Don't send me on fucking wild goose chases. Looking for... <laughs> Don't send me on wild goose chases looking for what the fucking Mortal Sins is when you're fucking right here. Yeah, I see that. Craters, Ace. Look, Ace, you have your own wiki page. It's super detailed. All the info you could ever want. I don't know if we got what... Do we got... There's 1,000 pages on here. Uh, let's see. What if we search Dungeon Explorers and Dungeon Dreams, but no Dungeon Rummage, huh? No, oh, no dungeon rummage. No, man. That's T. No, disappointing, huh? Oh, one of the admins notified you about the wiki page. Then I'd imagine they'd probably do their due diligence for all of us. So, uh, if we didn't get any sort of notification, then our games are not there. Fiddle. We'll just search fiddle. Field editor. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. It's a scam. It's a scam, Mr. Ork. It's a scam. Uh, yeah. What a night. Um, I don't know what to say about Flower and Us. Uh, I can say about the gameplay. I didn't like how it seemed to just, like... You didn't need to use your brain at all. There's not a lot of gameplay there to begin with. So the little bit of gameplay that was there... Uh, sucks that they uh, wanted to go ahead and explain it. Um, but other than that, you know, I, I don't have much of an opinion on that one. It's, it's all been translated, so we can't really judge the story quality itself. Because who knows how butchered it was through Google Translate... Um, Artifact Seeker, on the other hand, who oh boy, that was a terrible game. Uh, my bad, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for picking such an awful game. Um, I don't have anything else to say about that. Uh, that, that that's, that's that. Um, I guess, uh, I, I enjoyed, uh, Flower in us more than art of that's for sure. I agree with that. <laughs> Flower gets zero points because there's English promise, but there's no English. Yeah, to that. That's why I picked it up too, right? I didn't plan on having to read the game through uh, Google Translate. I'm kind of like okay. Well, fair enough. Um. What, what the fuck is this? Hang on. I just noticed that there's a, there's another fiddle game? Who's this? Who dat? Fidel Dungeon Rescue. I'm pretty sure it's Fidel. It's a puzzle dungeon crawler developed by Daniel Ben Mercury. Available on Steam. How dare you? Oh my god. We, we have a copyright problem on our hands, even though this came out... Uh... Three years before I even released my, my little tiny game that used the fiddle name and the, the, the main game is not even released yet. Uh... Anyways, what did I miss here? Sometimes we roll the dice, and sometimes we just die. I would have enjoyed Artifact Seeker if it wasn't like the millionth clone. Yeah. I don't know about that one, honestly. Yeah, I actually, you know what? No. I do know about that, because I haven't played any of the other clones. I haven't really played any Vampire Survivor-like games. That was my first one, and it did not leave a good impression. Um... It looks like I gotta rename my game now. No, it doesn't follow the same pattern. It's... First of all, these do sound like maybe... 
Like, I think it is Fidel. It's not butchering the pronunciation like I do with my character. It is probably Fidel. And then it's also Dungeon Rescue. It's fine. It's fine. There's plenty of space for two... There's, there's space for a fiddle, and there's space for a Fidel. I played one a couple of weeks ago. It was cutesy. Did I? I don't think so. Just call it fiddle already? No. I like my butchered pronunciation of a specific spelling. Plus, I can make... I can make... April Fool's jokes. Fidel and the Republic of Cuba. Anyways. I don't think I played a cutesy one. Maid Cafe was like a turn-based RPG. Orsted's a city builder. Mm. Man, you said a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. I'm going pretty far back here. I think you're... Man, Wrath, you watch so many fucking streams. I'm pretty sure you're thinking of someone else's. I, I haven't... I haven't touched any of those. Like, maybe Princess Marzipan? But that... I mean, that was cute, but that's not... That's not at all... Uh, Vampire Survivors-like. Wrath of the Goose King is also turn-based. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't play any. Anywho, um... Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's where I'm gonna finish the stream. Uh, hopefully I will be back next week. Before I finish the stream, click the fucking form link, whatever, the pin comment thing. Do that. Sign up. Play my game. Give me your feedback. Let's improve the game together. Um, and, uh, I don't know, and, that, and that's it. It's true, I stay up all night watching all these, all the RPG Maker homies. I know, it's like I can tune it, like I, I find like a random fucking RPG Maker stream from someone I've never even heard of before and oh, look who it is. There's Wrath of Wood. But yeah. Thank you all for joining, uh, assuming that, you know, I don't get fucking sick again, or there's no emergencies. I should be streaming next weekend as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, we'll, I guess I'll see you guys next weekend. Uh, so, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching these shitty games, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!